All right. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about uh, categories, why they matter, and how to get your book into more. Specifically, um, the do's and do nots of choosing different categories for your books, uh, how to get absolutely the most reaches possible for them, and how to get a total of 10 categories for your books. This is something not a lot of people know. You can actually get your books into up to 10 different categories. So first off, what are they and why do they matter? So book categories, think about them. They're like a section in a bookstore. Um, you know, when you want a certain type of book, like say for a cookbook, for example, you're going to go over to the cookbook section in the bookstore. And from there, you can see the books, they get separated into different types of cooking or cuisine and so forth into essentially their little sub subcategories. Amazon works the same way. And you can search for books via the keywords or search words. Uh, or phrases, or you can browse via book category. So let me show you what I talk, what I'm talking about. So here we are over on Amazon's Amazon's page, and you can take a look. So these are all the categories, right? And we'll go we'll go to nonfiction. Okay, hit up nonfiction. Now we've got all the the twenty nonfiction categories or so. And like let let's find a book on um, business and investing. Say I want to find a book on business and investing, maybe real estate. I don't know the exact type of book, but I'm going to go down to the real estate category. And, um, you know, I'm looking for investments, real estate uh, to invest in real estate. Um, so rental property investments. And this is where I can just browse and see what are the best sellers. These are the best sellers in real estate investment. And this is where you want your book to end up because some customers are going to be searching like that and they're going to be able to see some of the best books in a specific category and this can make a big difference for you especially when you get let's see if one of these books has it here this book should be number one so it should have a best sellers um a best sellers tag now it says article agricultural industry so i don't know why that's whatever but we're going to talk about why you want to make sure your book is actually in the right categories it might be in the right this might have something to do with that as well but um this is all chasing that bestsellers a ba bestsellers badge and we're going to talk about that in a, in a second here let's go back to the lesson now when choosing your categories there's definitely a few guidelines you want to choose you want to follow um first and foremost you want to be accurate you want to choose the most accurate categories for your books. And um, I'm gonna show you where you can do this. This is right here, categories. Browse up to two categories. And you're gonna open them up. You're gonna ch click on nonfiction. And then here, you're gonna see all of the different categories that you can enter. Now, it's not all of them. These are just the main ones that you're able to start off with. And so once again, if we're going with the same type of, let's say the real estate investment book, um okay so business and economics i'm guessing might be a good category and let's see where uh, i guess we just go scroll down to real estate perfect so real estate opens up so i might pick general or buying and selling homes you're able to pick two and uh and then click save and then that will be there, there's the category. So our book is going to be listed in nonfiction, in business and economics, in real estate, and in buying and selling homes. So that's very specific as we just saw. Customers are looking for a specific topic. So this will help them find your book a lot more easily. But you also don't want to, don't want to be redundant. So for example, let's go back and let me show you what I mean by that. So this book is now going to be found in business and economics, real estate, and buying and selling homes. Essentially, I don't need to find another. Um, I'd like to try to find another category that's outside of business and, and, and economics, but that's still related to my book. Um, so let's see what else we could find. Um, so, where is it? so we got business and economics. I'm just going to close that out. Let's see what else might. So it might maybe house and home. I don't know trying to think like as the customer might be thinking um i wonder if something in self-help personal growth success 
right? So that could be a that could be another one, right? Because you know, buying and selling homes, that's you know, success and kind of ties in like that. But you could play around and find categories that make sense to have your books in. Um, I just want to see what's under house and home. This might be just more of um, yeah, that's more of what I was saying. So I don't think I'd want my book listed under house and home just because these categories aren't really related to buying and selling homes, even though it is talking about a home. So hopefully, hopefully that makes sense there. But um, yeah, and you know, business and economics, we're probably going to have a couple more categories with business and economics. Um, you know, here it might be maybe something like careers, maybe, um, you know, we'd have to kind of dive in e-commerce, right? We'd have to kind of dive in and uh, definitely entrepreneurship could be one for sure. We'd want it in and we'd take a look under finance. I'm sure there's some that would, would make sense to have that type of book in a book on real estate investing. So that's how you want to be choosing your categories. Um, but not being redundant, like I said here. So nonfiction, dog training, puppies. Don't put it in nonfiction puppies. You're already going to be included in nonfiction dog training puppies. You don't have to do nonfiction puppies. One specific accurate category is more effective than a redundant one. Now, how do you get additional categories? Because uh, like it showed you here, you can only have up to two categories. So how do you get additional categories? Here's what I'm going to show you. So by default, you can have your book in two categories. Amazon will eventually move it into other ones, but you can also request manually to have your book into eight additional categories. By doing this, you increase your chances of becoming a number one best-selling book on Amazon and getting that coveted bestsellers tag. Now, why does this matter? One, proven bestsellers. Um, bestsellers are just, it, it's proven. It's telling other customers, the social proof, this is a best-selling book. People are buying this. People want to do what other people are doing. Social proof that ties ties into it. Once again, people want to know, hey, yeah, other people are buying this book. So that's a good idea. Good indicator for me to buy it as well. Um, increased sales. It does bring in more sales, 100%. And um, this will fill your ego. A lot of authors need to say, oh yeah, I'm a best-selling author for whatever reason. I think that's a lot of a little crap, honestly. Um, but hey, yeah, okay, great. You're a best-selling author on Amazon. Um, when you understand how you can just place your book into different categories um, and getting that bestsellers tag on day one or day two is not really overly that complicated. Becoming a best-selling author on Amazon is not actually that big of a deal. Becoming a best-selling author on New York's Times list or something like that. I would much rather do that as an author. No offense to anybody who might be thinking, oh, I'm a best selling author on Amazon. Congratulations. Um, but uh, I think the first three are the most important things that you want to focus on. So that's what I'm going to show you exactly how to do. We're going to use a tool called Publisher Rocket. Now it has a feature called Category Search. And it shows you all of Amazon's categories. So you can choose the ones that have the least amount of competition so you can increase your chances of getting the best sellers badge. And I'm gonna show you how that works. I'll, sh um, I'll show you how it works. And then I'm, it's up to you to use it to find up to eight relevant categories for your books. And then I'll show you how to get Amazon KDP to manually add your books. So let me open up KDP or Publisher Rocket. All right, so I have Publisher Rocket here, and if you don't already have this program, uh, we use this. It's it's absolutely mandatory or necessary rather for uh, AMS keywords. Uh, we use it mostly for that, but we're going to be using it a lot for category searches, and there are a couple other really cool things um, as as well with it. But uh, these are the two main things that we use this for. So there's a link down below if you need to pick this up, um, go for it. Um, but let's go into category search. Okay. And so here you're able to choose book or ebook. Um, so we'll just do ebooks for now, just because that's what we've been um, going through the entire course with ebooks. It doesn't really make a massive difference. Um, but the book we'll do is that we'll use the same as the real estate investment, right? So real estate. All right. So now once you start typing in your keyword, it's gonna start bringing up a list of categories. The way this works is 
So this is the Amazon best-selling number rank that you need to accomplish in order to receive the number one best-selling book in this category. What you're looking for is you're looking for categories where this number is as high as possible. So for example, in order to have the best-selling book in uh, money, business and money, real estate, you need to have a best-selling rank of 735. That's absolutely ridiculously low. Um, you know, see so you're selling 123 books a day um, to accomplish, I believe that's a daily rank per day, to accomplish um, to stay this, the number one book. Uh, you can even go check it out on Amazon by clicking here. Um, so the, this is, right? So what we'd look at is what's the highest one. So real estate sales. So we might even look at maybe investing. Um, investing. Uh, right? So you gotta play around and you gotta find the different categories that are one, remember, related. It has to be related. Um, so you'd have to look for the categories that are one related and, um, you know, two, have the highest BSR. Now, this is obviously real estate investments are very competitive uh, a niche. So, you know, your book's going to have to be doing well to achieve that number one um, bestsellers tag. But this is what you do to find the type of categories that you want your books um, to be in. So it's really straightforward, but this is a, it's a, it's a great way to, um, to not trick, but just to give your book that advantage over some of the other competitors books um, by getting that bestseller tag, because you're just carefully selecting which categories make the most sense um, for your book based on the data that we're able to see here. So once you have your categories listed out, then we are going to go to your KD, KDP dashboard and you're gonna scroll to the very bottom of it and you're gonna click on the contact us button right down here. And after that, uh, the next page that you're gonna pop up is you're gonna click Amazon product page and expanded distribution update categories. It's gonna bring in a box and you're just gonna fill out the information that it's asking. And it's basically saying, which, which one of these do you want your book to be in? And you need to state it in the format that it's in right here. And let's just do both, for example. Um, so, you know, if, it, if you want it moved into a certain category for book, you're going to copy and paste this one, put it into the form and send it out. It's a really, really simple process. Um, just do all eight categories all at once. Fill out the information that you um, that that's being asked on Amazon and uh, and then your categories will get updated. I believe it happens pretty quickly, but uh, they're great for doing uh, help with this. Uh, so if you need any additional help, um, the Amazon or the KDP representative, uh, they can definitely help you out with that. All right, and on to the next lesson.